The Southern Poverty Law Center continues its fight for civil rights and justice um, in the United States, um, not only working on issues of racial equality and rights, but also spreading into many other areas of civil rights litigation and advocacy, including immigrant rights, GLBTQ issues, children's rights, and really any challenge to civil rights and equality. Rosa Parks, who lived not far from my grandmother's house, refused to give up her seat on the bus and started the America's Civil Rights Movement. I like to think it's the last battle in the American Revolution that gave so many people rights they didn't have. But it took another man to lead that social action movement, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, a man who laid claim to a destiny that his people had been denied so long. He was a person who had to face many of his contemporaries like you will if you come up with new innovative ideas that had little vision. He had to face politicians and policymakers with no backbone. I feel confident that you people here with the reputation of this school for social action and people who come out of here and others like you all across this country will not be satisfied until justice truly rolls down like waters. Remember, remember, that equal rights begin close to home. That's where people seek equal justice, in our schools, in our communities, our workplaces. And unless people find equal rights and equal treatment in these places, we'll look as a nation in vain for progress in a larger world. But I have confidence that, that you will live up to the promises in our Constitution, the promises that were made whole by Dr. Martin Luther King and others in America's civil rights movement, and that you truly will not be satisfied until you do your part. McNeil is a truly uh, college in the real, university in the real sense of the word. And uh, one of the most important things a young person can do is to get a liberal arts education doesn't mean they have to be necessarily liberal, but if you get a liberal arts education, you get history and perspective, you get art, literature, science, math, all the subjects that go to making a, a, a whole human being. And it's hard to go through that without being progressive, uh, in my opinion. Well, I think uh, giving awards to young entrepreneurs of social justice is important. And not only does it help them to use the money for their fledgling projects, but also sets example for others. And today we need as many new ideas as we can to deal with some of the really uh, serious issues on social justice in the United States as well as in the world. Uh, I'm glad to know that they're there because when I'm gone and people my age aren't here and this country goes through major transitions over the next 30, 40, 50 years, we're in good hands. There, yeah, there are a lot of young people out there that, that have good democratic values and they're going to make the system work.